Looking at each one of these examples, I can see that it's asking me to find the missing angles given just two sides. And you can look over here and you can see the formula for an angle. This theta just means angle, this symbol here. And it's pretty much the same thing, sine opposite hypotenuse, cosine adjacent hypotenuse. It's still Sokotoa, but instead of just sine times the angle, it's the inverse sine times the proportion. And just x to the negative 1 or anything to the negative 1 just means inverse. So let's look at this first example over here. Well, they're giving us an angle, and they're giving us the opposite of the angle and the hypotenuse. That we're, not, we're missing the adjacent. Okay, well, with that, we can pretty much figure that out. That's just going to be the inverse sine, so sine inverse of opposite over hypotenuse, which is just 4 over 5. So we can just type that into our calculator. So we take the inverse sine, which is over sine, or we hit the second button first, and we just hit 4 over 5. And we get about 53 degrees. So 53 degrees. And you might say, what sorcery is this? I understood these proportions, but I don't really understand what's going on over here. I don't. It just seems like magic to me. But if you think about it, it's really not that complicated. It's just, we'll look at sine, for example. Well, sine is, a sine of the angle, theta, is just opposite over hypotenuse. Well, sine, you can just think of sine as just some random number. So you can think of this as this multiplied by this. Well, if I want to know what just angle is, well, then I divide by sine on both sides. And so what I get is theta equals opposite over hypotenuse times sine. Or another way to think of it is instead you could think of it as opposite over hypotenuse times 1 over sine. Well, 1 over sine is equal to the inverse of sine. That's all it is. It's sine to the negative 1. These are the same thing. So you can kind of see how this sort of becomes sine. Or so we can rewrite this, basically. And let me pick a different color so we can fit it in here. But we can rewrite this as theta equals, well, opposite over hypotenuse times sine to the negative 1. And then actually, let me write that first. Sine to the negative 1, or we call this inverse sine. And that's kind of where these, these backwards equations come from. So with that, let's go ahead and try the next example over here. Well, in this next example, we're given an angle, and we're given the opposite and the adjacent to the angle. So that's tangent. So we'll do inverse tangent. So the negative 1 is opposite. Well, the opposite angle is 2, and the adjacent angle is 6. So we'll just type it into our calculator. And we'll do inverse tangent. So second tangent to get the inverse above it of 2 over 6. And what did we get? We got 18, basically just 18 degrees. So we get just 18 degrees. Let me write it here as well. Equals 18 degrees, give or take. And in any question where I want you to round it to something specifically, I will tell you how to round it. For now, we'll just round the whole number because it's just angles. So with that, let's try the next one. Well, the next one we're given what we're given the opposite and adjacent to the angle again so it's still tangent so it's still the inverse tangent because we're looking for the angle so that is just what what's the opposite is 55 55 over 20. so we type that into our handy dandy calculator we'll do it again to get the t inverse tangent we'll hit the second tangent and we'll do 55 over 20. What do we get? We get about 70 degrees. So this down here is 70 degrees. Okay, and we can do one more here. We are given the hypotenuse, and we are given the adjacent, the missing angle. So which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, that's the cosine. So we'll use the inverse cosine since we're looking for the angle. And that's just, well, the adjacent is 3.5 and, not 3.8, 3.5, and the hypotenuse is 8. So we just type this into our calculator. We do the inverse cosine of 3.5 divided by 8. And what do we get? We get an angle of about 64 degrees. 64 
degrees. And of course, we can use these to find the third side. We can find the third angle and the third side. Using just, we can just subtract 180, we can use sine, cosine, and tangent, or whatever we want. Or we could use sine, cosine, and tangent to find this side first, instead of the angle. Um, and we could also use a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find it.